D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? Well, we got another crappy episode of The Bad Batch coming your way. I know, you're all like, oh, you didn't like The Bad Batch? Surprise. And I go, oh, another crappy episode of The Bad Batch? Surprise. You know, know what gets me about this show is, when it started off, I thought it would be good because it had crosshair in it. If you remember episode three, that's the best episode, I'd argue, of the whole series so far. Um, You know, I mean, it will have con some contention with the back half of uh, season one, like the last four episodes. The last episode was pretty good, too. But this episode I thought would be good. And I was, of course, incorrect. I was let down because it sucked. It sucked. And that's the problem with this show. It is, it's, this show is, is dog shit. I'll tell you that right now. And that, because who is this show for? That's what I want to know. It can't be for kids. It's too freaking boring. It can't be for us adults because we're all, I don't know about you, but I'm confused. What's going on here with this show? Um, it's, it's not good. The writing is terrible. And I, I looked up because I was like, oh, it's like created by Dave Filoni or whatever. And I looked it up uh, the, every episode this season. And none of them are written by Dave Filoni. And I was like, oh, OK, he's micromanaging. I get now what's going on. He wants to do all the live action stuff with Ahsoka and all that stuff. He doesn't want to take the time to, you know, write the Bad Batch. So he's let somebody take over these crappy characters. And I'm all like, I see what's going on here. And you can you can just tell. I mean, the writing sucks all over the board. That's the biggest problem with this show because you're just like, it just seems like filler episode after filler episode. And I know you're all like, oh, it's leading somewhere. Where is it leading to? What, the Death Star? Oh, because we haven't seen that a million freaking times. Uh, you know, all roads lead to the Death Star when it comes to these prequel stuff. And I'm just like, but I don't, I don't care. I don't care. And this episode is no, I mean, like, you're going to be all like, oh, but the emotional, like, of, of the Empire doesn't care about the clones. Yeah, we already knew that. We already knew that. Okay? We don't need to be told 50 million times one thing. We got it. The Empire, a lot of the Empire people do not care about the clones. Nobody gives a shiz about the clones. All right? And we know this. You know this. I know this. Okay? Okay? But this show apparently wants to just shove it down our throats every episode. The Empire doesn't like the clones. The Empire's trying to get rid of the clones. Yeah, we know. We know. I need some coffee. So, again, this episode sucked. And we're going to go over it. Uh, but before I do, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We just keep getting pushed to the back of the line. So please, that's as you like, share and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get started on this crappy episode and this breakdown. Ugh, so annoying. Okay. So it starts off in the uh, like training center or whatnot for the Empire. And we we get this stuff going on and uh, we get Crosshair and he's like toothpicking his 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 face. And we get this woman and she's all like, come on, clones, you're being retired. And they're like, but we don't want to retire. We're soldiers. And she's like, please come this way. And we I'm pretty sure we find out where they're going later on. So then this guy, Commander Dick Face, he comes up and he's all like, soldier, why do you not have your uniform on, a.k.a. your helmet? And so then he, he puts on his helmet and he's like, we're going to an outpost. And he's like, uh, we have clones with us. And he's like, is there a problem here? And he's like, I don't like outdated equipment or used equipment. So he gets on and I'm all like, I just want I like as soon as like he was on, I was like, who who shit in your Cheerios today? Um, I know it's pissed in your Cheerios, but I just find like if you found a, a, a turd in your Cheerios, you'd be way more upset. <laughs> Anyways. So they land on this outpost on uh, Beto, um, like Beta 4. Talking about Betas, this guy right here. <laughs> um, so they land on this outpost where they are going to be protecting, uh, you know, supplies or whatnot. He slips on the ice. <laughs> Loser. Um, and he's all like, mm, come on, let's go. Into it's all snowy. You see these little vultures these little vulture birds up here and they go in 
and there's a robot and he's like, where is your, your commander? And he's like, I'm right here and everything. He looks pretty cool. Um, I don't remember what his name is, uh, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. That's the thing. They bring in these characters and I don't understand how you could care about it. And, um, and you know, what gets me is these fair weather Star Wars fans. And when I say fair weather Star Wars fans, I'm not saying like, as like when it comes to fandoms there, are, I believe there are tiers to fandom and for instance like i think i'm on a higher tier say somebody like for instance my wife my wife has only seen the movies she does not watch these tv shows she's only seen the movies so she's like at this bottom tier almost like a, she's a normie she's a normie because she doesn't know anything about star wars lore she's never read the books never read the comics never you know uh played any of the games all that stuff so I hate when fear of their friends are like, fear, fans are just like, oh, this is Star Wars. And I'm like, uh -huh. is it though? Is it? I mean, anyways. So um, so he's I'm talking about a specific person, but I don't want to be mean to people for no reason. Um, so he's all like, uh, and he's like, I'm a commander. And he's like, I am a lieutenant. He's like, good for you. So he's like, we asked for reinforcements th 36 cycles ago. And he's all like. The Empire will give you reinforcements when it thinks you need reinforcements. He's all like, uh, so he's like, we've been and keep getting attacked. So they keep getting attacked. I don't remember what they say here. I really don't care. I just want to get through this. So uh, he's all like, um, they keep getting attacked and they keep these, whatever, these uh, people, they, they're aliens. They sound like, uh, they're all like, oh, la la. anyways, so um, they keep stealing this, this equipment, uh, this, this cargo. And and their job is to protect it or whatnot. So uh, I can't remember what he says, but they, they go outside to check the perimeter. And he's all like, uh, he's like, if anything, if whatever's under the ice, if it doesn't uh, kill you, the, whatever kills you, those the birds in the air will be happy about it because they'll get to scavenge and whatnot. And they they get attacked or whatnot. Well, not attacked. They they get through their barrier, and he goes up here to check on to see what they're doing. And they're stealing uh, supplies. Oh, there's a big blast. Hold on, let's 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 play that. There's a big blast because uh, boom, and he and this part lights up his eyes to where he can't see, and he's like ah ah blind my eyes, and so he shoots the guy, but does only wounds him, and then he goes to follow him. So he goes into this cave, right? And he he finds him. Oh, shoot. We went to. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, he's all like, that's how they get through the perimeter of that cave. So they go back and they're like, you need to go and recover the, uh, the cargo that they stole. He's like, just you two, because you two lost it and everything. And he, so they go through here and he they find the body of the dead dude. Hold on, let's find him. He's like, he didn't last very long, get very far. So then they find, uh, oh, he steps on a pressure mine. And this guy, uh, cruise control, whatever is, you know, his, his, his wrappings and all this stuff for a small minute, for a, a hot minute, I was all like, Oh, I wonder. I can't remember if they retcon Dengar, uh, um, that bounty hunter. And I was like, oh, how how interesting would it have been if Dengar was really just a clone, just like wrapped up in like bandages and stuff. And then because he he looked kind of oldish, that he's like an older clone, but he like figured out how to slow down the aging process, but at too, a little too late. I don't know, but uh, not 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 happening. So then he uh they they he fixes the pressure mine and he's all like they haven't sent us anything, so I've had to improvise. He's like, I'm gonna go around the corner. If it doesn't explode, you survived, and I'll come back and get you. So then it doesn't explode. And they get out and they see the cave and they go to attack. They take out the guards at the front, and then they go in here, they throw a little stunner bomb there, and then there's just a big firefight. Well, they're taking out dudes left and right. Dudes left and right. Pew, pew, pew. pew, 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 pew. Oh, oh, and he shoots some pressure mines. They're sitting on a shell. And they explode. There they are. And they explode. And they take it out. But as they do, it kind of collapses the cave. But it also makes sets an off an avalanche. Oh, and inside the cargo is just armor 
for stormtroopers. It's just stormtrooper armor. He's like, it's what they do to wrap up their their fancy new toys. And I'm all like, oh, you guys. So the avalanche happens, and what's his face? Beardy, the beardy guy. He's all beardy. He gets hurt, and he's all like, go on without me. I won't. Oh, oh, I know. They didn't take back the guy that they shot earlier because he's all like, he's dead weight. I don't, I don't, we don't need to carry on with dead weight or some crap like that. And so then, um, so yeah, so then we move in, moving on, moving on. So he's all like, um, so he ends up carrying him because he's dead weight. And I'm all like, okay, great. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, so good. Stunning and brave. Yada, yada, yada. And so the next day, and so these, 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 these birds are like, like, oh, dinner. And so they get back and they're loading up the cargo. And they, they, they're like, stop that. They see him come back. And he's all like, and they're hobbling along. And he's like, get back to work. And they're like, what? He needs help. So he's like, he needs a medic. And he's all like, you failed, Joel. You did not bring back the cargo. You failed your mission. And he's like, you need to get a medic and help him. He's like, why would I waste Empire's resources? He's clearly done for. And then he dies. He's like, he died. He's, he's like, you could have saved him. And he's all like, do not speak to me with such disrespect again, or I'll make sure you're in the same position. Do you understand, Crosshair? He doesn't even call it a clone. And as he's walking away, he's like, Lieutenant. And he's like, no, God, no. And he shoots him. And then he collapses as everybody's like, put it down, put it down. And then he collapses. And then he wakes up later. And she's this woman. She's like, crosshair. And remember, this is um, Alor, Alari, Alari. I don't remember her name. She's the assistant to the d doctor dude that was all from the last episode. Yeah. Who's looking for a mega now? <sighs> like, we all care. We don't care. You don't care. I don't care. And she's all like, he's like, what am I doing here? And she's like, she's like, if you cooperate, you might survive. Um, and then she's like, just relax. And then he passes out. Then she's like, the doctor will be in soon. And and then that's the end of the episode, you guys. The end of the episode. And it just wasn't good. It wasn't good. It was boring. Like, that's what I'm like, who is this show for? Because it can't be for, my kids are not interested in this. I'll put this on and they're like, five minutes in, they're like, yeah, I'm done. I'm like, this isn't fun at all. I'm not interested in this specific show because this specific show sucks. The Bad Batch is not good. It was characters that nobody wanted and nobody asked for. And they made a show and they didn't even make a good show. They made a crappy show. I mean, the first season, I'm sorry, but like it didn't get really good until like halfway through. And then it got pretty decent. But it was like they just they just relied on old characters from Rebels and such to 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 lean on. And then this season, it's just not good. It's just not good. Not good at all. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. It's just a crappy show. I don't know if you like it. Please tell me why you like it because I really want to know because I I don't. I don't like this. It's bad. I don't like it. I don't want to watch any more of it, but I'm going to keep covering it because it's Star Wars. And I, you know, apparently don't love myself. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, just tell me what you guys think. Um, yeah, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I'm on mind. If you need my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next week again <laughs> on my Bad Batch Breakdown and Review. You guys have a good week. May the force be with you. Bye. Bye.